almost. Wisnowski with a step. Wisnowski cutting in. Glove saving group. Now, plays it in on Barry. Big rebound. Here's a jet. Carcart scores! 1 0 Minto. Barrett stays on the park out front. What a chance. Move right through the legs of your Chuck. And now Bryson, the defenseman up ice. His shot scores! Tie game! What a shot by Gen Bryson! With a step, four seconds off, go ahead, shot, stopped by Barry. Great goal to tie it up. We hung on, we pressed, we tried to get the lead, we had the chances. It's not the end of the world, okay? That's the positive part about all of this, is that getting a point out of that, we're just going to take care of business the next two days. If we play like that, we're not going to have a problem. That was a solid game. We made checks, we took hits, we blocked shots, we cleared rebounds, we sacrificed. That's a solid game of hockey. Is it what we wanted at the time? No, we came here to get a win. Typical post game, well, uh, you know, I, I tend to, to sit up top. I, I like to stay away and, and keep by myself during the games. Um, and I'll come down and meet the staff. And, you know, usually we have a little five minute debrief on uh, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And uh, hopefully it's more good than bad and ugly. But, uh, you know, we'll, we'll kind of go through things together and then. Uh, Mac and, and our, our two assistant coaches, Mishko and Braden, will meet with the guys in the room, and that's an area I like to stay out of. Uh, you know, as a GM, it's not my place to go in the room, and, and uh, even though sometimes I really want to, uh, here at the Telus Cup, post game means a lot of media requests, and uh, you know, Mac and, and the players will will go out, and it's good for them. You know what? It's a great experience to be involved in those scrums and 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 get that feeling of, of what it's like. I mean, it's not quite the NHL playoffs where you got 15, 20 guys sticking a camera or a microphone in you, but you know, it's it's great experience for these young guys as they move on to junior hockey next year to be able to handle that a little bit. And then we'll meet as a staff and and just kind of debrief a little bit. And usually we got the video going and uh, and start sort of turning the page for tomorrow. Well, our mission on the squadron is to go out and demonstrate the skill, the professionalism and the teamwork of the Canadian forces to the Canadian public. And by having people come in to, to see what we do behind the scenes, they get to see all the different trades and see all the people that contribute to what we go out and when we do our, our air shows. Yeah, I think it relaxes me a bit. Uh, I like to be relaxed before my games and as a goalie, I just like kind of calm down and do my own thing and I think this like takes my mind off a little bit of stress. And... I like it. It's really enjoyable. It's nice to see uh, this kind of different side of Saskatchewan, I guess. I didn't really know this kind of stuff was here and it's, uh, it's interesting for sure. These are the people that we want to see come and work for us as professionals in the Canadian Forces. Uh, people who are in high performance sports do very well in the Canadian Forces. They're physically fit, they're motivated, they're good team workers, and uh, they're some of our best employees. It's nice just to maybe step away from the rink a little bit and get away from the hotel. And you know, to have the, the Snowbirds host us here this morning, I think was a, a very good distraction for our hockey club just to you know, sort of press reset a little bit. We talked about that at dinner, just turning the page and, uh, you know, we were prepared when we came out here that we didn't want to get too high or get too low with the experience and uh, we wanted to build towards being our strongest at the weekend. So for us to be able to, to get away from the hotel and, and just kind of take a little time out from hockey was a, a good breather. Everything from the selection process that our, our, our pilots go to, day-to-day -day training, the, uh, the dedication that they have to uphold over the long haul, and the, the dynamic when they go out and they perform on a show, the self-analysis, the critiquing, and the support. It's, uh, it, it's very, very similar to uh, professional sports or high-level competitive sports.